Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Wander Darkly. And this is a new drama from writer-director Tara Miel and starring Sienna Miller and Diego Luna as a couple who, they're not married, they have an infant child, they just bought a house. They are in a place of unrest and discomfort in their relationship, and then they get in a car accident. And seemingly dead, these two people wander through memories of their relationship in different places in their lives and confront those feelings with each other. And this definitely, even just from the look of it, it has a sheen to it, a dreamlike quality to everything. And I really appreciate the production design of the film because... You could tell Miel did a great job of transitioning between those memories and different aspects. You have, say, Sienna Miller running down the hallway of a hospital, gets to the end of the hallway, and, like, the camera closes in on this one door, and then you realize you're inside a house now. And there's just those smooth transitions that help create this dreamlike quality about the story, and that's part of the point because you're supposed to be feeling an abstractness. And I feel like this does have a powerful emotional atmosphere to it. Like, it does lean into melodrama, but I feel like between Sienna Miller, who's a really underappreciated actress, and Diego Luna, who's a very talented actor, are able to inject the chemistry and the charisma and the emotion that's needed to make this film work. So they do their job. What I worry about with this particular film is that the film takes so long to finally help you realize where both of these people are and what's really happening because it's so fluid in so many ways that once it gets to that point and how the film had delivered so many twists and turns up to that point, I never fully understand if did this film, like, I never bought into the where the film went because I never felt like the film spent the time to really set in what's real and what's just memories or what's going on. And I feel like the story never really came together. And, like, I understand by the end what they're supposed to be trying to say, but it never felt like it was fully realized and put together properly and earned. So I felt m muddled and confused by the ending and thinking like every step of the way, is this real or not? Even when it's supposed to be clearly we're reaching that point of realization, it's time to let the emotions come in. And I'm just like, I'm still questioning this and I feel it's hard for me to connect and really buy into the emotion if this just gets ripped out from under me again. So I feel like the story is a little too muddled, a little too abstract for this film to really click in the emotional way that it needed to. But Miller and Luna provide enough emotion for me to really feel. So I felt more about this film than I felt like I went on a meaningful journey in terms of a story. And that's the tricky thing. In some films, it really works, like Black Bear. I was okay with it. This film, I just felt like I was dragged around. And by the end, I feel like Tara Miel is a talented writer and director. I just felt like this film never really pulled it together and gave me a really meaningful and meaningful experience that I feel like is going to be sitting with me moving forward. This is a film that I'm probably going to be like, yeah, I like the performances, but like, would never really watch it again. But I definitely see some talent there and appreciate what they are trying to accomplish. But those are my thoughts on Wander Darkly. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.